Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. It's Monday the 28th of November and what an exciting day it has been for UK energy companies. First, there was National Grid saying that they were looking to possibly start their demand flexibility service. That's the one that you will have seen before where they pay people to lower their energy costs. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there I was, saw that in the news, um, and was like, oh, so I went and had a wee bit look. And yes, there was a, one of the actual official notices went out that they would confirm by 2.30 in the afternoon if they were going to put this demand flexibility service live. Now, it can only be specific um, properties where they've got a smart meter, their energy provider has opted in and they'll get paid for reducing their um, energy usage. However, by half past two, they had decided no, they wouldn't put that into place. And I was like, all right, that seems a bit of a sudden change. Because um, they'd only put out about half past one that they were thinking of doing it. And when I came home tonight, I was I went on to the, the news and checked and um, they're like, yep, yeah, they've decided not to go live. Um, not sure how much good it would have done because it's the England-Wales game on the TV and they didn't think that it would be that good asking people to not use their energy. So, yes, that was that was the first thing. Um, and seemingly a couple of days ago, this one's a tad more irksome. Seemingly a couple of days ago, the head of SSE stated that SSE may not be able to <coughs> fulfil the demands for energy during December and January. Now, obviously, SSE is Scottish and Southern, and I'm like, well, December and January, do you know, wind power, the wind's probably going to be howling, there will be rain, which means the hydro dams are going to be going, why on earth would they not be able to fulfil requirements? Well, it seems that due to the new windfall tax that the UK government has placed upon them, if they produce too much energy in December and January, they will need to pay this tax. Whereas if they don't produce too much energy in December and January, then they won't have to pay it. So they have got no intention of going to the level where they will need to pay this new tax. Now, obviously, I don't understand the ins and outs of it, but I'm like, really? I'm sorry, what? So... The government is paying billions to try and help people with extortionate energy bills. Um, whilst the energy companies are raking it in, in record-breaking profits. So the government has decided to try and claw some of that money back. They will tax this windfall tax on these energy companies for these super duper profits that they're making. And now at least one energy company's gone, well, that's fine because I only make profits if I'm selling the electricity or the, the energy. So if I don't sell it, then I can't make that much money. So therefore you're not getting your windfall tax. So we'll just leave people with power cuts instead. That is a distinct possibility. And you're like, really? So now it's basically turned into some sort of my dad's bigger than your dad type thing, which is not the phrase I was thinking of. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> not quite sure where I'm going with this because, you know, the the big thing about the smart meters and the, oh, we can pay you money to not use it. Oh, but yeah, it's not going to work that. So it's not going to work when the football's on. Is it going to work when Strictly's on? Is it going to work when Dancing and Ice comes on or whatever other events it is, Do you know? They don't have that many people signed up for it anyway. So is it ever going to happen, I wonder? That's a good question. Um, 
but as for the companies now that say, you know that was SSE saying that I'm quite sure SSE are not going to be the only company who are being very particular about how much energy they produce and sell when it could end up being the difference between paying the windfall tax and not paying the windfall tax. So yes, and uh, do you know, thank you so much to all the new subscribers, um, everyone who's who's left comments. I'm going to sit and answer some of them just now, but I have to say there is there are a couple of themes coming through. If you're not putting the heating on, get a dehumidifier. That seems to be a really big one. Um, and the other one that's coming through is that you really think the government cares. And after seeing that, I have to say, it's not so much does the government care, it's do the government and the shareholders and the companies. I think us as normal people seem to be quite far down the list here. And I don't know why I expected it to be any different, to be honest. But yeah, if you ever wanted it, you know, slapped in front of your face they will leave us without power rather than pay that windfall tax oh but don't worry they're going to invest their billions in the renewable energies because that's already been sort of put aside well so far they're still going to do that that's what he's saying just now so far but he did put a caveat on the end of it i can't remember the caveat but i remember thinking you're doing that deliberately so yes so that's me for monday evening you know energy again oh joy so yes so i'm off to go and have a cup of tea i hope you've had a good monday and i will catch you later